Hello everybody and welcome back to Exploit Theory. This is Kyle, also known as Sono421, and today we're going to be showing you guys a secret game mode in Call of Duty World War II, as well as how to get gun game and demolition in private match. Now in order to get these game modes, you simply need to go into headquarters, then have a friend sitting back at the main tile screen in a joinable session. Now once in headquarters, go into a private match and cycle over to the lobby screen. Now this is where things get a little complicated. If you have a split screen controller, I suggest just using that, but because I know everybody doesn't have one, I'm going to give this single controller tutorial. Once on the lobby screen of your private match, hold the PS button and click switch user. Then simply switch to another user that will be able to play the game. Right after you switch to that user, you're going to want to join your friend through the PS menu who's sitting back at the main tile screen. Now go back into the game and you should see you're now in his lobby, but you'll have the please connect controller error on your screen. So go ahead and switch back to your original user, click on the game, but now you'll notice it still won't go away. So now switch back to the second user again and click back on the game and you'll see it's now completely gone and you're able to navigate your menus. Now most likely when you navigate to anything besides the lobby menu, you won't see anything there as I do now. To get rid of this, you're going to need to have your friend kick you from his party and now you're going to want to go into your own private match as the other player. Now from here simply have the original user join your buddy again so that he regains control and then do all these steps from the beginning again. Now once you've done it the second time through you'll notice that you actually have your menus and you'll notice that the map is MP Hub but don't get too excited we haven't found a way to transfer that into private match yet. But if you save your game mode right now you'll get the secret MP Hub game mode. And this game mode has some really weird outcomes. If you load it up with bots in private match, you'll notice that none of the bots have guns, and if you jump off the map into a death barrier, the nearby bots actually follow you and jump off into the death barrier. It also forces everybody to the same team, so you'll have 18 players on one team, and you cannot switch to the other team. But that's about it for that. What's more interesting is that you can get gun game now in private match using this method. Now to do this, you simply recreate the steps leading up to when you saved MP Hub as a game mode. Except you're not going to want to save a game mode, you're actually going to want to have the person you joined whose party you're in find a gun game lobby online. Now once fully in the lobby, just go ahead and save your game mode, and congratulations, you now successfully have gun game in private match. Now surprisingly, this one actually has a lot of settings you can tweak, which I'll kind of just let you look over right here. But there's definitely some broken aspects to it and they definitely don't plan for you to have this in private match. Because while they allow you to enable spectator and codcaster, neither of them actually work when you try to select them as a team. And something even more ridiculous is if you load up bots on gun game and then start it up, you'll notice that the bots don't actually even have any legs and they're all just floating torsos. And it just kind of looks funny. Another really cool feature that gun game gives bots is it gives them the ability to deflect throwing knives. Seriously, what the f***? But now to get demolition in private match, obviously you simply do the same thing that you did to get gun game in private match. And I'm sad to say that this actually doesn't work to get prop hunt. For whatever reason, prop hunt does not work to get in private match, which is a bit of a disappointment. But on the plus side, only one person has to get these game modes because they can easily be shared. All they have to do is host a lobby and everybody in the game will now be able to download the game mode later because it shows up in recent game modes. Now because gun game is unavailable right now, some members of our team are willing to spread it to some of you guys so you can have it as well. So our gamer tags posted right here are the ones that you can add if you were looking to get the game mode. Just be sure to send us a friend request and a message telling us what game modes you want. And we'll try to get to as many people as possible. Or if you'd also like to get in contact with us about getting these game modes or anything else, we'll have a link to our Discord server down in the description. Now as always, all the glitches in this video were found by our team, Exploit Theory. Now if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to smack that like button and tell us what you think down in the comments. Anyways, this has been Kyle, and I'll see you guys next time.